Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tash Teaches. I'm Tash and in today's video I'd like to give you a brief walkthrough of my new preset, House Drummer. So without further ado, let's jump right in. House Drummer is, in its essence, a collection of sounds and patterns. And there are 128 different sounds per uh, sound type. So we've got a kick, a low tom, a clap, a knock, two hat types and two percussion hits. And each one of these is attached to a um, multi-sample that has 128 sounds in. So we've got 128 kicks, 128 claps, 128 hats. And any of you who remember from high school maths will know that the permutations or the combinations of these is absolutely massive. So even without bridging into having more sounds, this gives access to a lot of possible combinations all at once. In the pattern realm, each sound has eight possible patterns, and these are my personal taste, custom chosen positions for those specific sounds. So with the kicks, you know, we have just a stock 4-4, four, four, but then we also have a boom, 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 boom. Or we have slightly lower down, boo, 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 or boo, 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 boo. And all of these patterns are things that I may use in a house beat um, and will probably just through the power of deduction figure out which one of these patterns it will be that I will end up using. The same with the low tom and then the knock sound and the clap. All of these sounds are things that I regularly use but it's given me access to all of them all at once like a sort of drum machine brain of knowing what I would do. So on top of having access to 128 sounds for each sound and having eight patterns for each pattern, you can then randomly step through various aspects of this machine. If I just press play currently and have a quick listen to what we've got going here, that's just a stock loaded up house drummer uh, patch. And that's because we've it's randomly selected um, a different pattern for each one of the sounds and each one of the samplers has a different sound selected on it. It's also got pitches and decay lengths randomly selected but I'll get to that in a sec. So how we use this and how this works is it can just be closed up and you don't even need to see it and all you need to do is click one of these buttons, you must double click I must add, um, to, to go through the various randomizations. So let's start with um, just decay. So what this will do is this will randomly change the decay length of every sound. So some sounds while shorter sound more percussive while now for example we've got less of that rolling low end but a longer hat. You can also then randomly change the pattern of everything. So let's change the pattern on every one of the sounds. We can also then randomly change the pitch of every sound. Bar the kick and the low tom, which have a range of 12 semitones, every sound has a range of 24 semitones. So you can get some really wild pitch changes. And finally, we have access to the sound randomization, which will pick a different one of each 128 groups for a same pattern, same decay length, same pitching, but different sounds. Hmm, naughty. And then ultimately, we have this big button up here called All, and this is the, this is the winner. All you have to do is load a patch up and to get some really quite random crazy results, just cycle through alls. I mean that's just fantastic. So how is this uh, how is this working exactly? If we open it up again, have a look here, you'll see that each one of these eight patterns is being fed into a merge module, and each one of these patterns is then being sent wirelessly in a similar fashion to how I did with the external VSTs to a value knob that is then triggering the individual sounds. If we go back here, you can see that we've got these groups. 
So if we're listening through to the sound again, and I want to change just the pattern of the kick, I can go to just the pattern section here, or just the sound, just the length, and just the pitch, and I can just randomize just the kick. And that's changing the pattern of the kick. If I want to change just the sound of the kick, I'll go down to the sound. That's quite cool. Now just maybe the pitch. Uh, let's change the pitch of everything. So each one of these corresponds to the individual sound. So if you want to change the pitch of the kick, you click there. But if you want to change all of them at once, you can click this trigger. And that will change the pitch of everything. And then you can change the length of everything. Then this button here is mapped to what's doing this. So when you click decay, that will change the length. And that button will randomize everything until you turn it off. And ultimately, all of these groups then fed back into the master trigger here. That when clicking that, that's the equivalent of pressing this twice. And what's brilliant as well is this works with Groove. So because the the uh, grid patch has shuffle turned on and these gates, some of them are 16th notes, we can in fact swing this pattern as well. Get some really cool swung patterns. And if you just keep cycling through, you'll find some really great drum patterns. What makes this patch even better is that um, I've sent each of the drum sounds, not just to an audio output, but using the similar situation to what I did with the external VST effect video. We've also sent that to a stereo split, which the left and the right are then being sent to modulators. And in the note effects channel, I've got an instrument layer here with one sound per, per channel. And say on the kick, if I go up here, you can see that the left modulator out is going into the DC offset in the left side of the stereo split by 0 0.5. Um, and now each one of those sounds is being sent through here as well. So it doesn't matter that it's there, it's just being sent there, which does then mean that each of those sounds is sent out of the grid and allows us to now take the input from uh, the house drummer patch and then the chains, note effects, layer chains, and then pick kick. And now this means that you can record You can record the sound, so you can like have some chords playing in the background and you have this recording, and you can cycle through. It's absolutely fantastic. And also, if you take the, the kick and the low tom out, you can just randomly create top loop. Really cool. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this little video and I'm going to be uploading this preset for free without the sounds in and with the sounds in uh, onto my Patreon page, uh, which all patrons will have access to. And if, uh, if you don't fancy becoming a patron, then by all means, create one of these yourselves and let me know how, uh, how it goes. Um, as always, happy Tuesday, friends, and happy creating.